Hai, nama saya Muhammad Safwan bin Naim Nombor matrik A174506 Nama saya Wan Muhammad Afi Zikri bin Wan Manan Nombor matrik A175671 uh, Bagi memenuhi tugasan uh, agama Kristen dan Nusantara Pada pagi ini kami akan pergi ke uh, Church Letter Dan saya di mana Wan? Di Ceras Di Ceras, ok Kita saksi Jom sama kita saksikan Hup Ok, ok um. Sekarang kami telah sampai ke gereja Jason uh, Trust Letter The Saints di uh, Jalan Ampah, Trust Dan Ini dah gereja je Jom The Church of Jesus Christ of Letter The Saints Atau secara tidak formal, gereja Mormon merupakan sebuah gereja Kristian Yang berasal dari Amerika Syarikat dan wujud sejak tahun 1860 Baiklah sekarang kami berada di dalam gereja letter The Saints Kami melihat terdapat pelbagai bilik yang digunakan Antaranya bilik untuk kanak-kanak melakukan aktiviti atau permainan dalaman Bilik pembaptisan dan bilik untuk ritual mereka berdoa dan menyanyi Oleh itu, jom sama-sama kita dengarkan temu bual bersama elder di gereja letter The Saints The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Is Jesus Christ New Testament Church once again restored on the earth with all of His priesthood authority and power. And we come here and we meet together to uplift one another and to help each other come closer to Jesus Christ. After Jesus Christ was crucified and, and killed, as well as His apostles, His authority was taken off of the earth. And there was a period of time of many years. It's prophesied about in the Bible where there is a time of spiritual darkness. What kind of makes our church yeah, look different than most? One of the biggest things, we talk about the authority from God, right? We have a prophet and 12 apostles on the earth today who lead our church just like they led the church in the time of Jesus Christ. Um, not only that, we also have the Book of Mormon, which is another testament of Jesus Christ. It's an ancient record. Uh, similar to the Bible, um, that contains the the prophecies and the dealings of ancient inhabitants of America with God, and so it teaches us about Jesus Christ, and so that's something that sets us apart from other churches. Uh, many just believe in the Bible. We have this additional witness that teaches us more about Jesus Christ and helps us come closer to Him. So, the reason we got the nickname Mormon is because of the Book of Mormon, right? Um, It's that record I talked about. Um, it was compiled by an ancient prophet, historian, named Mormon. And so the title is the Book of Mormon. And from that title, people call us Mormons as like a short term. Yeah, but you know, we, we prefer to be called um, the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saints, because you know, we, we believe that this is Jesus Christ's restored church back on it today, and that he is the head of the church. Yeah, so um, because God loves us, He gives us commandments, um, which are guidelines to help us to be happy here on earth. And you know, we, we learn these commandments from prophets as well as um, the Bible. And you know, these these guidelines, these commandments are guidelines for us to be happy here on earth. Yeah. So activities um, in the church. It's kind of just a way to help help us come together. And so we do fun things. Um, there's different groups. It's called a, a YSA group, which is called Young Single Adult, um, where it's ages 18 to 30. And they they get together quite often to do fun activities like bola karanjang or um, you know playing games, board games, um, just having fun together. And it's a way to help us become better friends and build better relationships in the church. So actually these activities, they happen throughout the week. It just depends. Um, lots of the time they're on Saturday for the That's a good question. Um, we're still both really new here, um, but I would say um, there's probably around a hundred, easily could fit a hundred in the chapel. Um, but Could be more. Other churches are a lot bigger. Some are smaller. It just all depends. 
Jai Puchang Trust people. Mm -hmm. There are many, many temples throughout the world, and there are many that are being built right now. Um, there's going to be one in Singapore soon. So all of these pictures are people that have been baptized um, years ago. Uh, so like you can see, white, they're all, all wearing white, right? So everyone that gets into the font is wearing all white. about in the scriptures how you know men have they, they have the opportunity to have the power of God the priesthood and you know women are very very important too they're on the equal level as men um, but they have other roles as well um, you know to be a mother um, things like that and so men and women are, are very equal um, but men they are the ones that have the opportunity to hold the power of God the priesthood Seterusnya kami ke bilik ritual iaitu bilik mereka berdoa dan menyanyi yang dinamakan sebagai chapel. The thing we do on Sunday is to partake of the sacrament and like you said it it renews the promise we make at baptism and it helps us to remember Jesus Christ and his sacrifice in our life. And so when we come to church on Sunday we we all gather in this room and we partake of the sacrament which is prepared on this table uh, and then, uh, that's the most important thing we do uh, but then after that there's um, talks prepared by different members in the in the congregation it's, it's always changing who's who's talking up front and they they teach everyone about the topic that they were assigned yeah so the it starts off with, you know, we sing a song, we pray, and then any announcements are given, and then the sacrament will take place, and then after the sacrament, that's when um, some talks will be given, and then at the end, we'll pray and sing again. Yep, on Sundays. Yep, on Sundays. Like who talks in church? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so everyone, um, you know, so there's the, the branch president we talked about over there. So he's the one kind of in charge. So he asks people to speak, you know, beforehand, weeks beforehand, and then they prepare. Um, so pretty much all the messages are shared from regular members of the church. So we dress accordingly. We try and wear nice clothes. I don't know if you've heard the, the saying, Sunday best, um, but just trying to kind of put us in a mindset to put us in a place where we could become closer to God. So usually we wear nicer clothes, and then usually we wear a shirt and tie, and the women usually wear a dress. Ketika ini, kami sedang mendengarkan antara lagu yang dinyanyikan pada hari itu tersebut. <laughs> Seterusnya kami ke bilik pembaptisan untuk mengetahui keadaan di dalam bilik tersebut serta kami sempat menemu ramah tentang kaedah pelaksanaan pembaptisan. Yeah, yeah. So to be baptized, 
one that has the proper authority from God, um, called the priesthood, goes into the water um, with the person being baptized and uh, says a, a special prayer and puts uh, the person being baptized fully under the water and brings them back out. Uh, who will take the lead in the performing the baptism service? Who is the lead? Who is the baptism? Uh, who is the responsible? So, they are. so typically the uh, the bishop, right, and the presiding member of the congregation will give permission. Uh, and then whoever is being baptized may choose someone who has the authority to baptize them. And they will perform the ordinance. Uh, maybe you can tell me about uh, what's the difference between the visit and the church uh, the of the church. Oh yeah, good question. So the difference is, um, is you know, in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, uh, we believe that it's Jesus Christ's church restored back on the earth with his proper authority. So we believe that we have God's authority um, back on earth today, just like times of old. Are there uh, any difference in the performance of the ceremony during baptism in the past and now? Can you understand the difference? Um, what's the difference uh, when the baptism process is uh, for now and the past? Is it the difference? So actually it's the same exact way that Jesus Christ was oh. baptized. Um, which is another um, thing that's core to our belief is we believe we do all the same things that, that Jesus Christ did on earth. Baby? What, what, yes. what's the baby? Yes. Baby? Yes. Uh, baby? Good question. And so um, in our church, we, we don't believe in baptizing babies. Um, we believe that um, someone has to have the opportunity to choose. Um, so there's an age of accountability of eight. And eight. So when you're eight years old, eight years old you can, okay. and ever after after eight years old, you have the opportunity to choose to be baptized. Um, but we don't believe in, in baptizing babies. Selain itu, kami juga berkesempatan untuk bertanya tentang apa yang membezakan gereja letter dan sis dengan gereja lain. Uh, what makes this church interesting compared to other churches? Yeah, so in our church we believe in the Book of Mormon. Um, which, Mormon? Yeah, so the Book of Mormon, it's another testament of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And that's something that our church has that no, no other churches believe in. We also believe that we are the only church with, with God's full power and authority on earth oh, well, uh, to do things like baptism, yeah, yeah. healing the sick, things like that. And so we also have a prophet and 12 apostles on earth today who lead and guide the church. You know that other churches, they do baptism differently. Uh, but other than that, it's, I mean, it's similar to other churches, the way that it looks. Um, but, you know, there's... There's not a cross on top because we we tend to focus on Jesus Christ. And the uh, specific dates who go there? Temple? Specific dates, no? Yeah, no, I mean, people make plans to go, but you can go whenever. Mm -hmm. So is KL only one temple? No, so that's in Philippines. Philippines, in KL? Not in, not in KL, not in KL. Tiara, don't KL. Secara ringkasnya, yang paling menarik penganut gereja Letter Day Saint ini juga mempunyai kuil sendiri di mana kuil tersebut tidak terdapat di Malaysia tetapi yang paling berdekatan ialah di Filipina dan Singapura. Selain itu, penganut Mormon juga percaya kepada Bible dan beriman kepada perjanjian lama dan perjanjian baru. Malah di gereja Letter Day Saint, mereka menggunakan Book of Mormon sebagai teks Bible rasmi mereka. Perkara inilah yang membezakan gereja Letter Day Saint dengan gereja aliran lain.